marketing and a credit score. Here's a trick qualifying question to ask any future marketing people you're considering to work with. This is my online toolbox with episode number 319 of the weekly quick tips and reminders in all facets of marketing to help you grow your business with more quality leads. Last week, we were talking about the analogy of marketing just like exercising and the motivation you need to stay strong. Week before that, we were talking about education being imperative to help the the trades become successful, especially to the younger generation. But this week, we're giving you a trick question to ask somebody when you're looking to decide whether or not to hire a marketing person. And the trick question has to do with specifically what is your credit score? So in our case, we like to always do this live. Uh, my online toolbox, as of this particular week, is an 825, which is pretty impressive. But what we also like to do as a trick question is to ask them, what is your oldest account? And the reason is, if you look for us, we have 37 years and one month, which is probably older than the average quote unquote marketing expert in this industry. So after you know, okay, great, what's your credit score and how long have you maintained credit? A great trick question on top of the credit score is what has been the biggest um, hit to your credit and why? You don't have to get into the specific financial numbers, but here's what my point is. I'm bringing up quickly, I'm going back two years and showing here that in the end of 2022 that I took a hit. I went down to literally 790 for the first time. And the reason is I was taking a very uh, big vacation and I was charging up a storm. And if you could see that up until right around that time in uh, the holiday time, I was averaging 819 and then all of a sudden went down to 814, 811 and 790. So it was still good. But I took a hit and then came back from my vacation, paid it off, and then you could look month to month and you watch it stabilize. My point is, if I equated this to some type of SEO report and I only acted upon the negative side of the 790 or even the positive side of the 825, it's misleading when you look at something on just a quick uh, picture. And what we try to do with the analogy is, especially with marketing, is that it takes time to build momentum. It also takes time to maintain momentum. But when you set a certain strategy, in my case, I've managed cash flow now for over 37 years and I'm debt free. And if you look on the left hand side, it shows late payments and only a business person and even a parent could appreciate the difficulty it is to never, ever in that order be late. And my point is, is that when we're doing certain initiatives with our clients, they're very well aware that we're very sensitive to doing things on time, not saying it, but doing it. And so when I leverage my credit history for such an extensive period of time, it helps sets the pattern of how I see things, at least long term. So while somebody else minimi may minimize it, many times they can't uh, fight back with it, so they have to come up with some sh uh, sharp way to be able to counter that topic. The point is, is that it's a trick question just showing continuity over an extended period of time and an appreciation of numbers, not just on a weekly basis or quarterly basis, but on a quarter to quarter, year by year basis, which is why I'm so successful with many of my accounts over a five to 10 year period. So use very specific credit topics just to see how somebody responds. It doesn't mean that they're going to be better or worse in what they do in marketing, but you're going to be able to see a pattern and how they see numbers and how far out they could see whether you're going to be successful for the short term or the long term. Remember, we are focusing in on education, spe industry specific marketing education. Of course, this is not a direct technical thing to understand, but it's an intangible asset to what makes people po uh, successful over a long period of time, at least with my online toolbox. You could leverage this for whether you're interviewing my online toolbox or any of our competitors for that matter when it comes to your marketing objectives. Just keep it in mind as a unique strategy just to hear how somebody responds. As a reminder, check our weekly quick tips out on Facebook and YouTube. Please like us there and comment on some of the posts. It's always nice to hear from you. Also remember our Instagram channel 
has a weekly featured project showing the best of ongoing marketing for contractors in this industry. And never forget to start planning yesterday for next year's marketing and profits. Have a healthy week, and we will see you next week.